want to thank you. For what? Not judging me. You know, people judge out of fear and out of their own self-doubt. I think they know me. No one knows what I've lived through. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of their business anyway. I've been watching you since you got here. You should have seen the excitement in Roberto when he found out that you were coming. You're a good kid. And you got a big heart. You've had a tough life. And but you're doing good. Still have a ways to go. Just don't give up. That's something I've learned recently. People think that I'm not aware of my surroundings, but they're wrong. Even I have seen the impact that you've made in just a couple of weeks. You have even given me hope. I moved out of town a couple of years ago. I had a friend that I had known for many, many years. I had a friend and business partner, Victor. Ever since we were kids, he had told me all about how he wanted to open a small store back in his hometown. He said he couldn't run it alone and that he would like my help to run it. He said we'd become business partners. He was going to put up all the startup money if I would help him run it. You see, he had a family to support. He couldn't leave his present job until he saw some financial success. I was a bit hesitant at first for many reasons. In the end, I decided to do it. And so, I moved to San Manuel, the town where he was from, and we set up a shop. I have met a wonderful woman named Liliana. I had just asked her to marry me. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. But in a blink of an eye, my dreams were taken away. Liliana and I were closing the store one night. She was up front while I was in the back when two masked men rushed in. As I saw her struggle and tried to break free, I ran over to help her. One of them started emptying the register, while the other one held a knife to her throat. And to this day, I can still hear her cries as she begged him to let her go. But he didn't. He had cut her throat. He had killed her. And they robbed me of my future. Yes, I drink. But I have to. Because if I don't, I can't close my eyes. And when I do, I see her lifeless body lying there, looking up at me. Asking me why. Why I didn't save her. It's just unacceptable. I can't live like that. Thank you for sharing and for trusting me. 
Right now I'm gonna take a little walk down the beach and take a little time for myself. Come here. Thank you. Everything has its timing, young man. Now, Vicente. Vicente is simply not ready yet. To accept the loss of a loved one, that's a difficult thing. Spoken like someone that's experienced that loss. I know what this town thinks of me. I'm nothing but a crazy drunk. Who knows? Sometimes I feel like they might just be right. You know, when you lose someone you love, it's wonderful. you feel like you've lost yourself too. And in a way it's true. Everyone you love is a part of you. And when they're gone, it's as if they've taken a big part of you with them. You're right. I never thought about loss and healing in that way. But you're right. No matter how many loved ones are around you trying to help guide you in the right direction, it'll always simply come down to this. You will not heal, nor will you live again until you until you are ready to do so. I know your story. And I'm not crazy. But I am an alcoholic. This just eases the pain.
Don Ramon. I'm Joseph. I'm here visiting my nana and my tío Roberto. Ramon. Yeah, whatever happened to the Ramon? Nobody really knows, Mio. Adrian told me that he left for a while and that when he got back, he was just like that. It's about all anybody knows. You know, he doesn't talk much, so people leave him alone. It doesn't bother them, they don't bother him. It's actually pretty sad. 